What's going on guys? It's your boy Tiny. And as you can see, we're donning the old orange here, the hunter's orange. And uh, we're fixing to make our way in for the, the setup tonight. Let's get after it. So guys, as you can see, I'm walking into my spot for the night. And for the first time ever here in Missouri that I can remember, and I'm 44, we have a antlerless deer season in October. It's October 7th, and we're looking to lay down a slick head tonight. Cannot have antlers. We have to wear the orange no matter what, so I might as well be able to bust out the rifle. And that's what we're going to do. Look to do a little doe patrol tonight. perfect fall weather for today it just feels like hunting this feels like it should be on but we just can't kill any bugs if any come out tonight we're just gonna film them but the wind is blowing right in my face just hit me it's gonna be a perfect afternoon i just need some uh does to show up and it'd be awesome <laughs> This night has took a turn. Not one but two of the neighbor's dogs are in the field that I'm on. I thought it was a deer when I first saw it. I thought it was a fawn. But it is not. It's two deers. I got footage with my really good camera. It's just really frustrating. It's a perfect afternoon. And I know that if a deer steps out, they're going to chase it off. So, what can you do? FML, right? But it's still a beauty, a beautiful afternoon. We're not giving up on anything. It's just frustrating. But we're going to sit till dark. Fingers crossed. Alright guys, it is uh, almost 6 o'clock and we are fastly running out of uh, daylight. So it looks like we're going to be right back in here. Check back in the morning. <laughs> and we're calling that a night. I don't know what else to say. We'll be back in here tomorrow. Peace. So why my night hunt went to the dogs? I'm literally watching Homeward Bound The Incredible Journey. And by the way, that movie is a banger. 10 out of 10. Highly recommend. But one of the things about this time of year that I love is I'm always texting my twin and he's on my schedule now. And while he was not hunting with me, he was texting me, as you see popping up on the screen. And as you can see by reading it, he had a stud walk in front of him. He just couldn't get it to stop. And he got footage of it and I'm going to show it to you now.
So his night went way better than mine. Way better. But I had high hopes going back in here. Maybe the dogs would stay in their yard. And they got dashed away really quick. Here's the footage. on we got the heavy coat on it was 39 degrees whenever we walked out got out of the truck this morning and deer gas as you can see is showing good for the next couple hours so i have high hopes but if them dogs show up early we're gonna call it a morning go get some breakfast then we'll try it again this afternoon we'll see what happens Go away! And this right here is how my Sunday morning ends. We're going to get some biscuits and gravy. We're going to have some food, regroup, and go somewhere else this evening. Thank you. All right, we are set up for the last evening on this first ever antlerless, early October, whatever you want to call it, Doe Patrol. Um, we have had no luck as you've seen. Uh, we are set up at a new spot on the farm that I've never hunted, but it is absolutely beautiful, just like the rest of this farm. And uh, I've already seen a flock of turkeys uh, when I was getting set up so I mean that's more than seeing two dogs and I will take that I just didn't get any footage of it but uh, we're strapped in for the evening hunt hope this goes well All right, guys, so I'm back at the house. We didn't see any more deer after we saw those uh, two playing in the field. It was a good weekend to be in the woods. It was beautiful. The weather was perfect. We just didn't kill a deer. But we had a good time. And as always, bye. Make good choices.